Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Nobodies, and welcome to Ruin Arc. Ruin Arc is an exciting little world builder god game thing where instead of playing a kind benevolent god, you are coming in afterwards to destroy whatever that god has built. You are playing a demonic entity trying to corrupt the world around you through vice and sin and and disease and destruction and all of that delightful nonsense. I figure with things like Total War Warhammer 3 coming out next month where we will definitely be playing to serve the Dark Demon Lords, why not try and play a Dark Demon Lord of our own? All right, so here we are in the world. In this world, there are the three factions, the elves, the humans, and the werewolves. And our job as the Dark Lord is to simply allow ourselves into the world. We can do this in a number of ways. We need to generate chaos orbs to generate spirit energy to allow us to level up our little portal, which you see I'm holding right now. But in order to successfully burst forth into the world, we have to do so subtly. So we can't just slap down our portal here, right next to the uh, elven village, or this looks like the like, Canthrop village, potentially, and expect to win, because the humans will instantly discover us, and we have to be a bit more subtle than that. So we want to find a spot on the map with like not too much mortal activity going on around it, and it looks like, honestly... Next to the legendary tile, the, the legendary forge tile here might be our best bet. Yeah, we're going to start up here in the farthest reaches that this map will allow us. We got two bodies of water here to defend us as natural barriers, so this should be fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and build the portal there. So as you see, we now have our demonic portal yet, but let's go ahead and hit the configure loadout button so we can meet our Dark Lords. Ruinarch has three different subtypes available within it, and all three of them are really fun. So there is who I'm going to say is the most basic, the Ravager. The Ravager is your basic blow them up, destroy everything, blast everyone, let God sort them out later. This is not a subtle character, so they want monsters to be building up back at home in order to protect their portal. That way they're not getting blown up by the forces of heaven. Then we have the Lich. This is a little bit more subtle than our uh, Ravager friend. The Lich, as you might imagine, is a powerful mage that wants to control the undead. And sort of their main thing is going to be super late in the game, turning this game into Plague Inc. As they get the ability to craft diseases, which allow them to generate all sorts of chaos orbs or start a zombie plague. Or create like a rage virus even. Honestly, a lot of fun. The Lich requires a lot more preparation than the Ravager, really. So early on, the game might feel a fair bit slower than it does with the Ravager. But um, ultimately, like I said, about halfway through the game, it becomes Plague Inc. And it just it becomes hilariously good fun. And then there's my boy, my favorite. This is the Puppet Master. The Puppet Master is the most subtle of all three of the Dark Lords. As you might imagine from the name, they're not about direct action. They want to subtly manipulate their enemies into taking one another on. This is such a fun character, especially because of their unique building, the Watcher. The Watcher produces eyeballs. These eyes are invisible and can be put across the world to obtain information to store as what's known as intel. Intel is just things that you can share with the characters in the world to tell them about events that have gone on. 
This can be rather benign stuff from somebody playing music, just in case somebody out there is a music hater, all the way up to being able to be like, hey, you know, somebody just stole your guitar, or somebody just assaulted your friend, or you could potentially even end up starting a cult and getting people to like your cultists by being like, hey, my cultist just went off and slayed a dragon or something. Honestly, whole thing, fantastic. And this is who we're going to be playing as today, as we're going to be trying to essentially play a demonic game of telephone. All right, so here we are up in our corner. We got some spawning pits. We got our demon portal. We have, I guess, um... The legendary forge, which this is probably going to become a problem. <laughs> and the first thing we need to do is get ourselves some structures down. Imps are pretty good for defending our base, and the watcher is absolutely essential for playing the way that the uh um, Puppet Master wants to play. And the next thing that is absolutely essential is, of course, going to be the people. Because, you see, we have all sorts of people here. Every object in the game is an actual object. So from the guitars to the root clumps to tables... The objects on the table actually tell you a little bit about what the table is. I've got no idea what this is. Sometimes they're workshops, sometimes they're used for making weapons, armor, potions, cooking, any number of things. And every one of these people is very RimWorld-esque in that they all have their own motivations, they have their own likes and dislikes. They have varying sexualities and compatibilities with other people. They all want specific things out of the world and dis dislike other things. Honestly, it's fantastic. So these are Cadus. Cadius is the Elven Kingdom, okay? So is this going to be Cadius as well? It is. So Cadius is sort of fragmented, split up on two separate sides of the map. We got Aragon, who is part of Bissinian. So that is going to be, yeah, the human faction. I found the werewolf village. There's the, there's a third human village around here somewhere. <laughs> um. Marellin? Okay. Marilyn. We're in Maryland right now. That's where this is. The werewolves are from Maryland. Alright. And a big part of our job as the, uh, the puppet master is going to be gathering information on these humans. That way we can use it against them and produce chaos, which we can then use to upgrade our portal to get new abilities and also to uh, finally break through into reality. So, in order to do all of that, we're going to have to rely on the Watcher here. The Watcher generates eyeballs to go and look at what humans or whatever are doing, and we're going to want to find a place where we think that people will congregate, in large enough numbers and cause enough trouble. All right, let's see if we can't cover a lot of elvish dwellings. We can only have up to three eyes and they've got a 14 by 14 radius, so... Mm, we wanna cover here, I think? That way we're getting part of one dwelling, we're getting four solid dwellings and the city center. That's gotta be good. And we want to make sure to cause some trouble among the humans as well, where we can. Oh, we don't have enough mana. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let an hour pass by and see how things go. What? 
Okay, so Casey was flirting with an actual angel. Okay. So, this is the first bit of information that might actually be useful. People don't normally flirt with monstrous creatures. I guess because angels are such an exceptional thing, maybe that draws some compatibility? But Casey might be connected to another person. But as you can see, we don't know anything about the poor woman right now. So, how about we go and we find out who Casey is? We can spend a little bit of chaotic energy, which we gather by producing chaos orbs. All right. So what we know about Casey is that she has all sorts of complex RPG stats, piercing damage, strength, intelligence. Mostly what we care about is that she's a skinner Okay, she is a human, she is part of the Lycanthrope faction, but is not herself a Lycanthrope, as far as we know. She's from Merlin, and she has a lot of friends here. So part of what we want to do is we want to scan through for anybody Alucard, anybody who has a high compatibility rating with her. I think is the sort of person who might be made jealous by finding out she was flirting with a literal angel. Maven? Feel scornful? Maven is her brother. Ooh, so Maven might not like angels. And Fiona. Fiona's rather fond of her. You know, we could immediately start messing with the family. Yeah, let's do that. So, we click on this little eye symbol here. Because the flirting took place within this small area here, we can gather the information. At which point, we go, okay. We know somebody who would be rather unhappy with this. We can look at Casey and tell that Maven has a plus 53 towards her right now. She's got a plus 54. So they're rather happy with one another. But we're going to try and just sort of poke in there. See if we can't create a vulnerability. So, uh, Casey, your sister was flirting with one of the angels. Seems... Er, Maven. Casey was flirting with one of the angels. Maven is now scornful of Casey. And if we go back to their relation, Maven... Hold up, their relationship's still fine. Hold up now. Casey. Mood? What does scorn even mean to you? All right, well, that didn't go over very well. Sad. We're going to have to find ways to get people to resent one another. Santhwin flirted with Lanyon? All right, let's see here. Reveal. And are you married? You are not is Lanian. Yes. So, we can go Santhwin flirted with this person, and we find her Doxa. And hey, her Droxa. Oh my god, she's a marauder. Oh, this is gonna go poorly. Wait, this is a marauder who's like really good at healing? Guess what, Herdroxa? Your husband was flirting with another woman. Seems enraged and betrayed at Santhwin after receiving the new information. Alright, let's fucking go. Where's your opinion of Santhwin? Oh my god. Angrily shouting and cursing. Immediately goes back to building the new dwelling. 
but she's so mad, she mad, is going to share a rumor with Cassin uh, Cassinile poisoned f uh, Santhwin poisoned the food in the table. Oh my god. So I guess Cass is the leader. You know what we're going to do? Hold on. Where's the eye? Where's an eye? We're going to break this eye real quick. Because I want to make sure that when they meet all right, they're about to meet. Drop that. Her Droxa shared a rumor with Cassinile that Santhwin poisoned the food at Ishmilama's house. Cassinile is cursing? Oh my god, yes. Okay, so. Now we no need to know who Cass is mad at. Hanlian is giving her Droxa an angry stare. All right, did you believe them? You know what? I'm I'm looking for it. Is bringing some food home. Santhwin is annoying. Seeing. Fendleg just brought down my mood. A lot. <laughs> so where's your relationship with Santhanwin? Still pretty good. Disapproval and disappointment. All right. So my question is, who do we share this with? We could share it with uh, Santhanwin. Or... Or, we could share it with Ishmilama, saying that Santhwin tried to poison her. Now this should kick awesome hostility against Santhwin. There's a possibility that it'll kick off approval towards her Droxa or anger towards her Droxa. All right, let's see how it goes. Disinterested. Excuse me? Somebody tried to poison you. Is angrily shouting? I'm really angry at Santhanwin right now. I would hope so. Her Droxa cried. Fantastic. And when somebody cries, generally, that produces chaos. Okay, so her Droxa is crying. Oh, I, I'm loving this elven village. This is great. <laughs> I, I kind of wonder if we shouldn't uh, really double down on this town. Oh, 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 oh. Santhanwin. Where's Santhanwin? All right, how do you feel about her Droxa? Because you don't know what her Droxa has done. You're very fond of her. So, <laughs> can I kick off some concern towards her? Because what we might be able to do is concerned. Okay, go check on your friend. Her Droxa is assaulting a potato. Um, is this her own potato that she's assaulting? Or is she assaulting somebody else's potatoes? It is her own potatoes. Um. Santhanwin, your friend's really upset right now. You should go check on her. <laughs> I just... I just want Santhanwin to go get murdered by her friend. <laughs> Santhanwin, call her drug so she's crying right now. Okay, hold on. Lanian will be resentful. How's her Droxa? What are you doing? Is out for a stroll? You know what? She was breaking shit. You're concerned. Fuck. This woman was breaking stuff. Okay, you're also concerned. Ooh! 
Eld has accused her of disturbance of the peace. Um, that's... I wish I had that information for Intel, because I would just hand... I would just hand her drops of that information. All right, you know what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're going to go to every other eye in the world and just blow them up and focus on this one small elven town's problems because this is fantastic. This is exactly what this character is for, is like finding the pettiest bullshit, really doubling down on it, Ruining the lives of this one small town worth of people. <laughs> Until you come bursting out of your hell gate. Uh, her Draxa is assaulting a torch. Now where's El Eld? Eld? Her Draxa is causing a fuss again. Is disapproving of her Draxa. And she assaulted a chair. I want, I want to catch these people, um, accusing her of stuff, because I think if they just start, you know, making these wild accusations, that her Draxa will get mad at them and fucking attack, which will be hilarious. Oh, is going to report her Draxa. Is going to report John to Hanlian. Ooh, this is the 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 faction leader. Oh, oh, that's really good. All right, so we want to come up here and we want to go. Hey, we've got a spire now. Now we can aspire to new heights. Ha 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 ha. And a prison. Um, we can imprison to new heights as well, I guess. <clears throat> Doesn't work quite as well. Alright. Oop. Oh, look who fucked up. Aceleron? Just reported her Draxa. Her Draxa? Guess what? Hello? Can we- can we not? Can we not? Why can't- why can't I report this person? Do we have to wait for her to calm down? Oh, her Drax is causing a fuss again. Hanlian, you need to go take care of this person. They're, they're out here causing a fuss. Oh my god. This eagle person is... Absolutely, like, just getting knackered. Hey. Hey, you. Seems angry and betrayed by Aceleron. Oh, boy. How are you handling it? Because you were already in a pretty bad mood. Her Drax is celebrating. She's just dancing. She's so pissed off. She's just dancing by herself. All right. She's, she's having a good day. She's like, okay, I've calmed down. And I'm fine now. Collected myself. So instantly we're going to start trying to tra cause drama with Elden Teen. How is your relationship with her Draxel? <laughs> I just want, I just want to use her to fuck up everybody's day. Okay. So, I need... I want to start a cult. I think I focused too much on this small elven village to, like, make a proper cult. <laughs> no, wait! Wait, 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 wait! The, the, the elven queen is in this city. So, yeah, if we can turn these elves into cultists... Oh, that'd be so good! So... Let's up the radius on the eyes. And we're really going to double down on sort of getting this town on our side. Hanlian. All right. You are officially one of our targets. Because we want to get you 
and your whole village to start worshipping demons. Because if we can get a whole nation worshipping demons, that would be freaking hilarious. Alright, I need to find somebody who's like properly uh, influential in this city. Like someone with- ooh! Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, that makes sense, but... This person um, is not going to be easy to uh, manipulate, unfortunately. So, or not easy to mind wash. So what I need to do is I need to find somebody else with a decent social scoring to mind wash. Cause like, it's really hard to get to leaders, which, you know, Reasonable, really. You're not just going to be able to grab up the leader of an entire city and be like, Hey, worshipping demons is pretty dope. And they're going to be like, Hey, yeah. Yeah, I get you. Now. Uh, Hanlian. Who are you very fond of? Your husband... Egelnorin is not very um, influential. However, she he is Hanlian's husband. But also, they're sleeping in the same room. Damn it. You... Are the last person left awake, aren't you? We might have to just grab you up then. Snatch. We'll, f we'll have to figure out how to make it work with just this one person. Oh, come on. What's the closest I can... Aha! Right here. Yes. Oh no, okay. Well, this is gonna go wrong. <laughs> Got him. Alright, Lust. Pull her out. Ooh! Onadrend. Hanlian likes Onadrend. Okay, okay. And I just kidnapped his wife. That's fine. Oh, Al Dente, guess what? You are gonna be instrumental. Freaking instrumental in our plots to take over the world. Got it? All right, Al Dente. What do we know about you? You are inspiring? Randomly blurts out inspirational quotes. Somehow feel inspired. Others somehow feel inspired by it. You are diplomatic. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. That's mending relationships. So you inspire people. You're diplomatic. And soon you're going to be evil as fuck. Hello? Are you evil now? <laughs> Uh, nope, it's recharging. Okay. We're just gonna- we're just gonna keep- keep working on that. Keep working on making that person evil. It'll go fine. Everything's fine. It'll go well. Kainsley? Ooh! Ooh! Hold on. Hold on. You're doing- you're- Oh no. Where's Lanyan? Uh, Intel? Assaulting her Droxa. You. Is approving towards- okay. Her Droxa is- oh my god! Her Droxa just absolutely laid you the fuck out. 
Is Hydroxa just going? Where are you going? Is fleeing for her crimes. Oh, Hydroxa, no. Where are you going? All the way to the frozen north. Oh, no. What are you going to do, Hydroxa? Is going to the wilderness. Oh, Hydrox has been run out of her home. So we can get more information now on Cadius. Their crimes probably include demon worship, being a werewolf, or being a vampire. Okay, brainwashing, cannibalism, murder. Yep. All right, come on. Worship. Worship the demons. I swear, being a demon worshiper is the tits. Okay, well, let's learn about the humans. So the humans uh, don't care about infidelity too much. They don't like murderers or cannibals. <gasps> They're fine with demon worship? Hold on. Hmm. Are you telling me it's not against the law as a human to be... There's no laws against demon worship among the humans. Okay. Holly is a new target. <laughs> I'm super interested in making Holly into a demon worshiper. Her closest friend is Blossom. So, Blossom is now a target. <gasps> Eldantine is now a cultist. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> oh yes. We're gonna do it. We're gonna turn the entire world into cultists. It's gonna be great. So, we're gonna have to get a human into the cult. Preferably our dear friend Blossom here. It looks like there's all sorts of chaos already going on. What is that? A rat man? <laughs> Wait, there are rat men just chilling here? The rat men faction? They're apparently just skaven. Why are they Skaven? Okay. The undead. Oh, good. Vagrants. <laughs> all the homeless people are dead. All right, all right, Holly. How are we going to get you on side? Again, with her being a faction leader, it's going to be really hard to influence her. Is Blossom an influential person? No. <laughs> okay. Holly, do you have any friends who are particularly influential? Elton's influential. Okay. Guess you just became a target. <laughs> You're not blessed, are you? Okay, he is not blessed. And he's wandering out to the middle of nowhere. Ooh. Quick. Rev up those abduction engines. Where's, where's Elton? Where's Elton? There he is. Snatch villager. Elton. Select leader, lust. Two imps. Go. Right in the trees here. Get him. All right, we knocked him out. And now we just slowly carry him home. Just quickly carry him home, please? Quickly? Hello? Just go, just go. Lust, run, run, run. Elton. Elton's gonna be the one who does it. Elton is gonna be the person to turn us into a real cult. 
We're we're not just actually going to be a cult. No, we're going to be a full-on world religion by the point that Elton gets done with us. All right, we might have to torture this man. I'm not 100% certain. That'd be unfortunate for him. Brainwash, 33%. Let's go. Elton was successfully brainwashed. Okay. Immediate brainwashing. Fantastic. Uh, why are you going to Bismaro? We don't want you there. Absorb cultists. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Elton's heading home. Fantastic. So he is close friends with Daisy. Holly is rather fond of him. They're very compatible, which is good. So we might be able to get Elton to almost immediately. So Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna blow up one of our eyes. Ow. Ooh, the portal's been upgraded. Wait, we didn't need to do that. Watch your time. Also, input time. Alright. Immediately, we wanna upgrade both sides of the, this watcher. And we're gonna have this watcher entirely just watch these the elves oh we got more chaos fantastic let's see we need a hundred to upgrade to the next level and then we can get the meddler the meddler is fantastic because you can start using it to produce schemes um which you can use to incite wars change leaders and so on all right, Elton. Now he's gone home. Where is Holly? Holly is just... Okay. Holly is just all the way out there. El I need to grab my eyes. I wish I could... Like, choose spawn eye from wherever I am. Because it is very hard to figure out where I am. Rat. Alright. Eyes. Rat. Elton. Elton. All right, so we need to sort of strategically set eyes throughout this town as well. And this is actually going to be to capture all of the amazing deeds that Elton does throughout his day. We're going to turn this into a celebrity gossip demon magazine. That celebrity, of course, being Elton. Oh my god, look at that. Elton just took some stone. Amazing. Look at all the good things Elton does in his day. <laughs> I don't know. We just need to get Holly to like Elton a lot more. Oh my god, this man. Oh yeah, right, because we were torturing and trying to brainwash him. Oh no. Ooh, Elton, what are you doing? Elton? Elton, is this wise? Oh, right. These people don't care. Demon worship's amazing, they say in unison. Well, okay, do the werewolves care about... They don't. Oh, yes. Okay, so we're just going to use Elton to get everybody into demon worship. He's just going to be like, guys, demon worship, the tits, the best. How does Holly feel about Elton? Oh, he's, this, he's her third favorite person? 
Well. You, I need you to do something good. Can I afflict you with something positive? <laughs> no. That's not what affliction does. That's not how affliction works. Alright, she's in her home, alone. I want you to go and preach. To our beloved friend, Holly. About how cool demon worshipping is. Hey, Holly. How are you doing? <laughs> okay. Um... How does she feel about that? She's fine. She's fine. I just need to get Elton to do some notable stuff. And in the meantime, we can come up here and get our meddler in place. The meddler allows us to hatch schemes. Schemes upon schemes. So, if we now go to any village, we can go to its leader and say, Hey, I want you to break up with your lover, resign as leader, instigate a war. If they're not the leader, they can try to overthrow the leader. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, this is how we try to start wars and so on. I want to get holly on our side or or what we can do is try to get one of these people on our side or all of them on our side she is suspicious of beastmaster so what if i got a dog to tell her hey the dark lord's a pretty dope man <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Honor Drend? What? Where's the cultist? Oh! You like my cultist. What's your social? What is his social credit score? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his wife? <laughs> Alright. Elden. Elden, Elden, Elden. Elden, wake up! <laughs> you dumb shit. Because if I can get Anadrend to start the, uh, the culting... That could be even better. Like, demon worship is considered a heinous crime here. It's not considered a crime among the werewolves. Or the humans. So, what if... We could get... Anadrend to become a cultist and then make them faction leader of that other faction. Hello? Elden? Elden! You dumb shit! Please do what you were told. Go tell your husband to join the demonic cults. Please. Come on. What is... Okay. Log was receptive and has changed his religion. Alright. Alright. So, why then hasn't he changed? 
Why aren't you worshipping me? Because the thing is... Like, if I can get him to worship me, and then make him the leader of the human empire... And he's got the best shot. So you can preach to him again. Yeah, see if we can't get him to actually commit. Because he's joined the religion, right? She's like, can I introduce you to my religion? And he goes, well, what's your religion? And she shows him the picture of a cat dancing and he goes, I'm interested. But we need him to actually commit. Not just to the dancing cats, but to, you know, actually changing his ways. So, there just doesn't... It just doesn't feel like there's enough out there that'll really get people approving of someone or disapproving of someone. Like, I, I need, I want to be able to do more stuff with this guy. Instead of just, you know, telling him to go harass women repeatedly. Just be, hey girl, how you doing? Alright, Eldantian, I want you... To go find honor. I need you to find your husband. And get him to join the damn cult. Alright. <gasps> Anadrend has officially joined the cult. Now. He still has the highest chance of getting in as the leader. I think, at this point, if Holly's not going to join us... Scheme? How can we get her to resign? Offer her a dark blessing? Promise to protect her from further interference? Okay. Increase her strength and HP. 75% chance to tempt her to step down. If you say so. They now have no leader. So Holly is now got a dark blessing. She can no longer be touched by us. And she is obscenely powerful. But this means that our boy is the most likely next leader. So, I guess we just let time move forward and see how that plays out. Excuse me? Tristan? Why is Tristan now the leader? Okay, that's really upsetting. Alright, some- yes! Hold on. Zap that man. Get him, wolf! I said... Zappity zap. <laughs> and we're gonna look at this wolf and we're gonna heal it. Is Tristan dead? Yes. Good. Overview. Tristan has immediately died. Now, as we were saying. Alright, so it's either Victor, Leoric, or. Horondend. And we're we're vying for Horondend here. Can we get these two killed? <laughs> or arrested? Info. What have we got here? He is a vigilant hemophiliac. Alright, and Victor is null. Locks player power is used on it until it dies. Oh. And he's evil. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on now. 
So what does Holly do now? She is... She's a vagrant. Oh, all of her followers were just like, no, we're gone. We're done. <sighs> all right. Now, Victor, I need... I, I want you... Hmm. You know what? Suddenly, paralysis. You're, you're no longer qualified to be the leader. And you, suddenly... Um... Hot-headed, sure. Alright. And we're immediately... Gonna trigger your hot-headedness. Let's go. He's just chilling. All right. Please do not elect the paralyzed man to lead your village. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I'm just, I'm just sealing him in. Please, <laughs> please elect my man to be your next president. <gasps> it's done! Oh my god, yes! We've done it! <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> We've... <laughs> We have officially, <laughs> we've officially taken over the entire human empire. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh my god. We are now warmongering, demon worshipping, bone golem makers. Hmm. Only allows demon worship, okay? Heinous crimes, nature worship, divine worship, arson. You know, <laughs> you know, looking at everybody else's platform, they were just like, hey, don't be a werewolf. Don't be a vampire. That's it. We don't care. Arson, that's fine. Burn everything down if you want. We don't care. But nah, Onadrend? He was just like, hey, don't burn my house down. <laughs> and everybody else is like, wait, why didn't I think about that? Okay, sure. Yeah, that makes some sense. <laughs> we got <laughs> a rat man has just joined society. Okay. Yeah, sure. Fantastic. <laughs> Alright. Alright. You know what? Okay. I think it's time. We're just starting the demon wars. We're gonna start by trying to take out the werewolves, okay? You're a demon cultist, and I'm gonna give you a dark blessing. Wait, no, not a dark blessing. We're gonna remove all of your flaws, however, okay? Okay, and we're going to make you truly mighty. Success rate, plus 100. It's like 400 and whatever, but sure. Let's go. If you say so, my lord. Alright, time for the demon wars to start. They are at war with the Hiso, and the Ratmen, and the Bandits. Alright, so how's the, how's the war going, guys? Are we... Are we doing it? Where even are the Hizo? I hear some smacking happening. Are the Hizo aware of the war? <laughs> I'm sorry, are most of your villagers not even... 
Oh my god, they're all monsters. They're almost all monsters. Um, where's the demon war happening? Alright, where are our cultists at? No battling going on there. Anybody here fighting? Anybody? Is there any evidence of this this demon war happening? Anybody interested in doing a, a war? Hold on, I just heard something. Casey is fleeing from Oakley. Get her! Get her! Yeah, let's do a war. Okay, that... I guess went fine. Oh, we have a bone golem! <gasps> Look at him! Onadrind, can I... Are, are we... Are we doing this? Where's the demon war? <laughs> Where are all my soldiers gathering at the gates and whatnot? I can get the bone golem to preach. He can't preach to anyone, okay. You know what? We're gonna spice up this demon war right now. Just... Demon war, go! Yeah! Anyone interested in the demon war right now? Oh god! The trees are attacking! Alright. Fuck you, tree. Um... Ball lightning? On the tree? Yeah! Get fucked, tree. Alright, but you know what? It looks like the demon wars aren't exactly gonna kick off in... in full. Um... I guess we did end up forming a cult uh, out of an entire nation of humans, which was pretty cool. This game probably has a bit to work on when it comes to the things you can get directly involved with. Um, definitely giving you more options for how to, like, how to have your cult operate. Maybe putting a bigger sort of, uh, emphasis on the cult and how it operates within the world would be really good. Maybe schemes to let you overwrite laws and so on. I don't know. But let's go ahead and end this off properly, I guess. With our awakening. The almighty demon has been summoned. Congratulations. And so, we have officially kicked off the demon wars. As you can see, Ruinark is a work in progress, uh, early access thing. I have been back and forth on the Discord, trying to make sure of things I don't quite understand. And you guys, if you're interested in Ruinark, should join it as well. If you want to see the Demon Wars in full, I would suggest buying the game and joining the Discord and all of that to support this rather interesting kind of wonderful games production. But I think that's going to be it for now. In the meantime, y'all just remember, nobody cares. Thank you very much and good night. We got an assassination request. I want to try this. Oh no! I didn't send them with any fuel. Nothing. We're just sitting here playing chess. It's fine. Can we make beds? <laughs>
make ourselves a new home here in the big city, every day wondering about the family we've left, how they're doing, if they miss us at all. They're gonna be like, why are there two homeless people sleeping in the back of our rec center? 